Hey, it's Kimmy the Gadget Goddess. This is the third week I've sat down to say I was gonna do week two, week one. And now I'm just gonna do your questions answered because I've been enjoying this phone entirely too much not to do some coverage on it. It's a weird kind of sensation when you're dealing with a phone and you're enjoying the phone and you just don't have the time to sit down and make a video. That and life itself. So let's get into this. <laughs> If you have not seen my other videos, I did a screen protector installation, pin support video, and I did the carbon fiber case, which is still on this phone. A lot of questions I'm getting asked about the screen protector. How's it holding up? Is it coming up in the middle or anything? It is fine, other than maybe some of my skin oils on the screen right now. It probably just needs a wipe down, but much better than the glossy finish that's on the regular screen protector. As I always asked, and as I stated in the video, I left the inside screen protector on and installed it on top. And the front one I removed completely. I was amazed by how many people asked me, was I avoiding the warranty by removing the front screen protector? Because the front screen protector is a basic screen protector. There's nothing special about it. The inside screen protector is special and that's the reason I didn't remove it. You are not voiding your warranty by removing a regular plastic screen protector from your phone. So rest assured, you can remove that. And I just removed it and installed another and everything is fine even with this case and with the factory case the screen protector is fine I got asked that question as well the one addition that I did add that I haven't done a video on and I will not do a video on well two additions let me correct myself I installed a glass camera protector back here and that's just because it's a big camera so I figured why not put some protection on it I will link in the description links to that uh, it actually has a hole for the flash on that, if you can see. And shout out to Bray Gray, who does a lot of photography stuff. He put me on to this speaking kickstand. Now his is installed this way. I decided to go this way. And I'll tell you what, this is the wider mode on this phone. So I feel like if I'm gonna watch videos, I'd rather it be more wide so the black bars aren't as thick. There's nothing wrong with installing it this way. That's the taller mode but your bars are gonna be a bit thicker. Now with this kickstand, you can go either way with it. Cause see, it's on the kickstand that way and it's on the kickstand this way. Now for me, another reason I installed it this way is because I usually put my finger right up under the camera module. So I want it to still be able to do that. That's why I installed my kickstand the way I did. So either one of those should work. This is a very sturdy kickstand. And like I said, it holds it either way. I think this is their second edition in kickstands. And it made me want to go grab one for my Google Pixel Fold. So <laughs> if, if that tells you how impressed I am with this kickstand, I am. It's very nice. I've never been huge on kickstands because I felt like if you have a foldable, you can use it for its own kickstand. But when out to eat, watching a college game the other week, I had my son and my father with me and I was propping it using salt and pepper shakers and whatnot. So kickstand comes in handy when you want to share the screen with everybody. Let's get into other questions that people might have. I know if it were me, the questions I would ask myself would be, how's the battery life? Because battery life is always important to me. I am seeing two days easy with this phone. Another accessory that I don't have to show you right now, and I'll throw it in here, is the car charger. Now, I have been due for a car charger upgrade for a while. And I will say that picking up this car charger, I have a pretty hefty commute anyway, but to be able to fully charge my phone while commuting to or from work, it nixes the need for wireless charging. So many people said they need it. My phone is always charged in less than an hour, whether I'm in the car or whether I'm at home. The charger they give you with this phone is more than enough. And the car charger that I purchased from Amazon, I will link everything that I'm telling you about that I use for my phone in the description of this video. And you might be able to cop this on sale being we're in the holiday season right now. Just in case you're not at home and you need that juice because I often forget to charge this phone because I don't charge it every day. And sometimes I can get beyond two days, so I just forget to charge it. 
again if you haven't watched the pen support video it's there somebody did ask me if i could take pictures with the stylus yes you can pen support is complete pen support it's more than capable of doing the basic things that a stylus does with the phone there's the answer to that question pen support does cover green shots and taking a picture with the camera is yes, cameras i love the cameras on this phone i love the cameras on my pixel fold i am enjoying these cameras a little bit more i read an article last week today is november 19th that a update is coming to these cameras to improve them. I'm happy with the cameras the way they are, so I hope it doesn't screw anything up. We will cover this information on my upcoming live stream. I'm hoping to get this video out before then, but I haven't carried a slab phone, it's a regular phone, it's not a foldable, as a daily driver since the Zen phone. And I didn't even do coverage on that phone. I just traded my Samsung 8 tablet for that Zen phone. I didn't really care for the Samsung tablet. I edited with my iPad and it was not doing the job that my iPad was doing, so I just traded it away. I don't need to have multiple tablets. I did pick up the Xiaomi Pad 6 Max and I am enjoying that experience. If you would like to see coverage on that, please let me know. But back on top, this phone's cameras is keeping up with slap cameras as far as I'm hearing. Now, I can't quote you myself because like I said, I haven't carried a flagship slab since I started using foldables. But from what I'm seeing in reports, what I'm seeing on YouTube video and picture proof, this phone is keeping up. So a lot of people say they don't wanna grab a foldable because the cameras aren't up to par with regular flagship phones. Huawei did it, but Huawei's not sold here. It looks like OnePlus is like, hey, we gonna step our game up and take over this market unless Samsung and some other people decide to step their game up. Speaking of such, when I was setting up to shoot this video because I decided to come outside, I hadn't been outside in a while, there was a deer that was roaming through my neighbor's yard that I caught some footage on it. I'm gonna throw in this video. Oh, really, I'm sitting a good distance from where this deer was. I put it on six times zoom. It's in 4K30. If you wanna see some photos that I took when I first got the camera and I happened to be at the beach, you can check out my pin support video where I put photos at the end of that video. And it is timestamp, so you don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. One quick thing, I only have software issues, I wanna say, and I'm not gonna really call them software issues. If I am using Discord and it is open here, and I close the phone, my send button disappears. And that's only on Discord for me. I know some other people have reported other apps, but the current time, that's the only real software glitch I have or the only bug. And being that this software update is about to drop, maybe software fix and whatever else is gonna fix that. I thank you for your time and stopping by my channel and checking out your questions answered, which I will continue to do on every series phone that I cover, which covers the questions you've asked frequently in my other videos. In the future, just know if I didn't answer you directly, which is rare, because that means I didn't get your notification or it sent your stuff to spam, this is a place to find that information because somebody else might have asked that question. Last but not least, is this your foldable of the year? Well, the year's not quite done. I did not expect to get this device. I was not interested in this device. And the only reason I got this device is because I had a decent trade-in value on my Razer. So that tells you the Razer is not my foldable of the year, right? Okay, there's a hint there. I will tell anybody who might be interested in this device that has the Oppo Find N2. I still have my Oppo Find N2. I still love that form factor, but there's a, something a little different about this device. Whether you pick up the OnePlus Open or if you pick up the Oppo Find N3, you should definitely try this phone because you really might enjoy it because I am really shocked by how much I enjoy this one. I said I wasn't getting this one and you see me sitting here loving it right now. If you have liked this video, please click on the like button. If you've liked multiple videos on this channel, please consider subscribing. Subscriptions are free. Memberships cost and memberships have privileges. If you'd like to see what those privileges are, please click on the join button. I'd like to thank you for your time because time is money. Catch you on the next video.